You know, Kelly, every once in a while, we like to get back to this subject of time management. This is one of our favorites. Indeed. Time management. Let's take a look at, in this short attention span webinar, let's take a look at time management. And if you've done any of the programs that Kelly and I have put together, or whether it's the uh, the, the time management webinars, the, 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 the Tuesday e-workshop, the sales challenge, we talk about goals of time management as being seeing the day ahead, seeing the week ahead, and seeing the month ahead. And the common denominator there, Kelly, is preparation, right? We yeah. want to make certain that, that nobody leaves today without having tomorrow planned. You've got some idea of what's coming up down the road. How far, you personally, Kelly, how far out do you think? Are you, are you go past a month? Do you think that's oh, far yeah. out? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you have to. I, I, I think I, and I'm, I'm not really sure where this comes from, but I think my chunks kind of after a month come in quarters. Hmm. So, you know, those kind of three month chunks of, um, and I think this comes from some of the customers that I'm working with right now where we, when we're talking about some big initiative, we'll say, okay, we're going to call that a Q4. You know, or we're going to call that a 2014. Hmm. So um, we're, you know, again, it's it's all about what your capacity is mm -hmm. and what your goals are. So when we think about, if we think about something that we're trying to accomplish, and we say Q3, okay, well then I'm thinking, okay, that's fall. Right. So okay. I have to kind of adjust everything to kind of recalibrate to think, okay, that that means that something's coming up in the fall. Um, I have some time to prepare for it. Okay. All right. So let's talk about how to look at time management. So the, if the common denominator is preparation, the first, if I'm thinking 30 days out, I've got a fuzzy, vague picture, which doesn't sound very productive, but Kelly, I want to have a general idea of where I'm going. You know, like I find that business being cyclical the way it is, I can be at, uh, I can be in growth mode. And that would be my, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get as much new business as I can over the next 30 days. That's really where I'm, I'm doing. Or maybe I can see that I've got a, um, a big opportunity coming up in 30 days and I've got to be in preparation mode for that. But I find that there's, you know, you're kind of locked into one theme or another. Right, and I think it has a lot to do with goals. I mean, it has a lot, you know, I, I continue to be astounded by companies and individuals that don't have a clear picture of what it is they're actually trying to accomplish in the first place. And what I mean by that usually has to do with revenue, um, you know, and volume targets that are broken down by year, quarter, month. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, if, even if you're talking about just activity, it it could be something like, I'm going to, you know, add five new prospects to the pipeline every week for the next four weeks, create a prospecting plan around those, and visit with at least half of them. That's a great kind of vague, general, kind of ideological goal to have. And it's not that anybody's holding your feet to the fire or saying, if you don't do this, there are going to be severe consequences. Mm. But the opposite of that is that if you do those things, really, really great things are going to happen to you. Next up, you've got next week. And again, I, I want to see that. Uh, I want to look ahead a week. So I'm already thinking about next week, this week. Now, you and I are recording this on a Wednesday. And as the week goes on, next my next week is coming into focus. Mm -hmm. You know, is it crystal clear? Absolutely not, because I've got business issues, I've got personal issues, I've got family or familial issues, and I've got wild cards. You know, my mom had hip surgery recently. Okay, that was a wild card for everybody. Now we got to throw that in there. You just never know. I mean, it also might be a day that's all of a sudden kaboom, it's 70 degrees, and I say, all right, well, okay, now I'm going to take that as much day, a day off as I can hop on my motorcycle and go for a ride, you know, or mm -hmm. squeeze in some golf or something. You've got business, it's all in motion. But in order to make the most of it, and again, keep in mind, where we want to end up is having a really rock solid day of effective work, right? A lot of efficiency and productivity. That starts with, now I've, I've, I've got my, my, my month, you know, vaguely planned out. Next week, I want to have that, a good look at it so that, as I mentioned, today's Wednesday. By Friday, 
I want to know what I'm doing every day of next week. I should have appointments. I should have activities. I should have prospecting down there. Um, I should have in my calendar anything that is going on with uh, my kids, you know, whatever, all those other ancillary things. And I'm looking that far out. So, but but it's not it's not crystal clear, right, Kelly? We're not crystal clear until until this stage. So, talk to me about well, tomorrow. right? I, you know, I, again, I sometimes, as you said, it's it might just be four or five, um, whether they're meetings or or deliverables. You know, like okay, I know I want, I know that I've got to have that newsletter out by next Friday, and I know I want to get to see this customer to talk about this issue. So, if you've got them, imagine that they're kind of floating above the calendar. As you said, by Friday, you want to plug them into the calendar. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's why, you know, I turn around and look at my month calendar and look at that week and say, okay, where does all of this fit in? Um, and it, that's why I think penciling is so important, even if it's just, an, you know, kind of an emotional um, attachment that you've put into it is that, okay, this is what I'm going to do by, by Wednesday. That it's easy enough to erase it and move it around, folks, but it should be. Um, it should be hovering there or at least at least committed down um, on paper on pencil in but, pencil on that paper but with this last point if you do nothing else regarding your time management if you don't look out 30 days if you don't take care of next week if you only do this one thing if you only believe us when, when we say never leave today without having tomorrow planned have that tomorrow rock solid in what you're doing crystal clear you know everything you're going to do but you don't show up in the morning and start the plan. So that plan for the day was created yesterday. If you do only that one activity, that'll take care of 75% of your time management issues right then and there. So the whole theme to this thing is about thinking ahead. That's how the people that are selling millions of dollars are selling millions of dollars. Those that are leaving at 4.35 o'clock and yet their, their, their names are still at the top of the sales leaderboard, they're not working as hard as you are. They're working smarter than you are. And it has to do with their ability to look ahead and see the trends. That's what this is all about. This is a big, big subject. Mm -hmm. We just gave you about eight or nine, seven or eight minutes, actually, <laughs> on looking at your time management. So we'll revisit this from time to time. We know this is a big issue with everybody, and especially for young mothers. Right, Kelly? <laughs> mothers. I don't know how, how young, but yes, all definitely. <laughs> all ages then. All right. Well, thanks very much, Kelly. And we'll talk to you all on the next short attention span webinar. Thanks, Bill.